Hello and welcome to Gadget TV. Something a little bit different today. We're actually going to be degreasing um, a manual espresso machine, like the domestic kind. Um, if you have a Gadget Classic, whether it's the 2015 or the 2012 model, um, this will work. We're actually going to be doing it today on my Gadget Selector Deluxe, which I have had since 2004 and has been rather good in terms of doing many coffees over the years. When you degrease a machine, um, what you're basically doing is you are um, getting rid of the coffee oils that are inside the various parts of the machine that um, come into contact with coffee. So that's the, um, the shower disc just here and, and then the filter basket like this. Now I have a traditional filter basket just here which has the same number of holes on this side as it does on this side. Good, just checking that we're in focus. Um, if you've got a perfect crema basket, then that will have a different number of holes. It has, this, it has the standard shower on the top here, but then it only has one hole on the bottom here. And it's actually even more important that you degrease uh, your machine if you have a perfect crema basket. Um, I also have a regular filter handle here, which uh, mine is, after many years of use, slightly faded, but um, Yours hopefully will be shinier than mine, and um, if you, again, if you've got a perfect crema basket, you'll actually have a crema pin in the bottom here. One of the things that we get asked relatively frequently, actually, is whether you should back flush a machine. When you back flush a machine, what happens is that you um, you actually use one of these, and this is a, a it's what's called a blank filter basket, and it doesn't have any holes in it whatsoever. And what you do with it there is you place that into your filter handle, put it into your machine like so and then you would run the pump as you would normally and what that does is it backs up the whole machine and um, flushes water into your boiler. Now on a commercial machine this is a good idea because uh, the boilers are very large and they need flushing out occasionally. On a domestic machine it's actually a pretty bad idea because the boiler is so small that inevitably what that means is that whatever gubbins you've got, and you can see that I've got gubbins here, whatever um, coffee solids you've got lurking in your shower disc and your porter filter will wind up back in your boiler and your boiler really is too small to take that kind of punishment so we don't recommend doing that really on a domestic machine but what we do recommend is doing what we're about to do now which is degreasing the machine we're going to use these these are um, puly uh, p-u-l-y degreasing tablets and they're made of a um, they're basically a crushed up lime derivative and um, they are slightly alkaline so you've got to wash your hands when you're done. They do actually come with a warning label um, in the packet but I've taken that out for now so you could see them and um, what it does is it dissolves all of the coffee oils that you've got bunging up your machine and you can tell whether or not this needs doing because firstly you can run your finger around uh, inside your porter filter and you'll find that some coffee residue comes out in which case you might need to do it. Um, it also, if you hold your basket up to the light, if you've got a traditional basket and you see that some of the holes are blocked, you can hold it up to the sun or in a window or something like that, um, then it's a, it's a good idea to be doing that now. The way that we're going to do it is we're going to put this tablet into the basket like so, and then periodically we're going to run the fil run the pump. The basket's not going in there. We're going to run the pump and um, filter out the water and allow it to run through. But before we do that actually, we're just going to do a, a little bit of a check. And the check that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the, the uh, boiler itself is clean anyway. If you haven't used it in a while, it's a good idea to run some water through. And it's actually been a week or so since I've had an espresso shot because I've been playing around with a um, Chemex coffee uh, pour over thing. So I haven't had a, an espresso shot in a week or so from this machine. So I'm actually just gonna run the uh, boiler and get rid of, flush it out with any new water that we've got in. You want to make sure before you start this process that you've got a full tank of water. I've just made sure. On the, um, on the Selector Deluxe like you see here and on the Classic, um, you actually have a uh, something n near on a two litre water tank, so um, you'll, you'll have plenty of water to complete this now. Um, as you can see here, it's slightly cloudy actually, with the water I've just pulled out there. And that's just because it's been sat in the boiler for about a week or so. So you really do need to flush out all of the, the residues that you've got inside your um, machine when you do this kind of thing. Now, as I said, what we've done is we've placed the degreasing tablet inside your uh, basket there and we're gonna put it 
we're going to lock it in like we would normally. We've made sure that the machine has come up to temperature and we are going to run the, ah, the glass I brought doesn't fit. That's okay, we'll just take the drip tray out. We're going to run water through this and what it will do is it will foam up. And when it foams up, what happens is that it's dissolving all of the uh, coffee solids that are in our basket. I'm going to do this and you will see what happens. Okay, so we've run it for 10 seconds or so there and actually um, you can see already that the, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a swap here. I've brought along an espresso cup for this purpose because I don't want to get water everywhere. Um, you can see already that by running the degreasing tablet through the porter filter, the foam and the water that we've got out is actually brown. And that is the dissolving of the coffee solids that were kept in the shower disc and also in the, um, in the porter filter itself. We're now going to wait 30 seconds and we'll probably fast forward at this point for the, uh, uh, degreasing tablet to do its magic. So 30 seconds have passed and what we're going to do now is we're going to run it again and we're going to continue this process until the water runs clear. So we're going to run a, a glass full of water through again. We haven't taken it off and we're going to keep doing this and repeating the cycle until the water that we get out runs clear. I've cheated actually, I, I, I did actually do this quite recently. So this um, this is happening a little bit faster than it would usually. So we've got the uh, white of the degreasing, oh, I forgot to put that in the way. I've got the white of the degreasing tablet, but uh, you will probably need to do this about five or six times. We're gonna wait 30 seconds again and then do it again. It's a little bit clearer this time. It's not brown at all, the water that's coming out. So we're getting very close to having finished the operation. I'm actually gonna run a whole glass through this time. I'm wait to catch the drips. Now we're gonna wait another 30 seconds and do it again for the final time. Okay, we're going to do it one more time now. One of the things you might notice actually as you're waiting is that the uh, there are drips of water from the bottom of your porter filter as you're doing this. And that's because of the foaming procedure. It's forcing water out the bottom of your basket and into whatever receptacle you've put in the way. We're going to do this one more time and then we've got to rinse everything because we've been using a relatively alkaline uh, substance and you want to keep that far away from your coffee. If you get this alkaline substance in your coffee, it's going to taste terrible. So we're going to run it through one more time and then we're going to rinse everything. Okay, so I'm going to put the drip tray back now and catch all those drips. Well, what we're going to do is now what you need to do is rinse everything out. I'm going to go ahead and rinse everything out and then you'll be ready to make coffee again. If you're finding that your coffee is uh, not coming through as quickly as it usually does or it's uh, taking a long time to brew coffee, then this is something you really uh, should be doing to regularly maintain your machine. Other than that, enjoy your coffee.